Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're already subscribed. If you're new here, my name is Marin and I make self-improvement kind of videos as well as beauty videos and I also like to document my pole dancing journey. So if you guys think you'll be interested in any of that, feel free to hit that subscribe button here or here. I gotta figure out where the fuck it is in <laughs> uh, like you know, the video that I'm filming, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain that, but you know what I mean. Today's video is going to be self-improvement related in the sense of that it's gonna be regarding how to turn a bad day around. So this video is going to be five simple ways you can turn a bad day around. You know, we all have bad days sometimes. Turn it around and make it a good day. Sorry, I feel like I have like, I just drank some water and I'm not sure if I have like a water mustache, if that's even possible. But anyways, so yeah, five simple ways that you can turn a bad day around because there are simple things you can do. It just matters that you actually consciously like try to do these things because we can get so caught in the bad day that we feel like nothing can turn it around. But honestly, often just the deliberate effort to make a bad day good, just that makes it a good, good or better day. Uh, but here are my tips anyways. So the first one is kind of two tips, but I feel like they are so interrelated obviously that I put them under one. So this one's actually the most important one. The other ones aren't ranked like the other four but this one's the most important one I would say and the most impactful maybe I'm not sure perhaps but you can I think it's most impactful because you can incorporate it into the other tips that I'm gonna give you the first tip is music and dance and so I'm sure you know what I'm gonna say it's so cliche it's such a common such common advice when it comes to turning a day around or just having a good day and that is to choose your music wisely and listen to basically good music don't give in and listen to a bunch of bad music. Bittersweet is okay because you kind of acknowledge your bad feelings or your bad day feelings, but don't listen to too much negative stuff. It's okay to sit and feel the bad day. Don't completely ignore your feelings. That's not what this video is going to be about. Realistically, you should address them. And on that regard, you should probably sit down for like 10 minutes and just be sad and then get over it. But that's not one of my tips, but you could also do that. Anyways, and so, you know, blast really good pumped up maybe even like party music like I like listening to like EDM music cuz I don't know it just pumps me up and makes me feel good and like I can conquer the world and then dance cuz dancing you're incorporating your body so just dance like silly like dancing like silly just like I don't know there's something about it particularly dancing to old music that like nostalgic good music I feel like is really good. I just thought of that song you know it's always a good time oh, 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 oh. Mm -mm. That's like the epitome of a good feeling song. So blast that one or like yeah, just fucking hone hone why haven't I been using that word a lot? Just fucking use the power of music because music has such a huge impact on our lives and this tip is gonna kind of bleed into some of the other tips because you can listen to music while you're doing so many other things and I just noticed that my fucking battery is about to die that's fucking great sorry I swear a lot I should probably start bleeping out my swearing and so the second tip I have and this one's also like come on like everyone says this but it's so true I say this a million times on my channel but things are a cliche for a reason usually and that is to exercise and now this doesn't mean you know go fucking mad at the gym if that's your thing go do that I know that uh, when I had a gym around me that was fun for me and I would try to do like handstands and like fun stuff like that but just going for a walk is a good thing to do this kind of goes back to my get your shit together video which I'll link here or here wherever the fuck that is <laughs> again I'm gonna figure that out where I said cha changing your environment helps you kind of get your shit together or get getting back on track this isn't about getting back on track kind of just within a day and so if you go for a walk you're literally exercise releases certain like endorphins I think I'm not I'm not sure if that's the correct like term but it releases things that make you feel good naturally and so it's both gonna do that and it's gonna change your environment which can change your mindset and you can blast music at the same time I love going for walks. I try to go for a walk every day and I'm pretty consistent with it. Just not even necessarily for the like exercise healthy part, but just like for the mind healthy part. So yeah, do that. <laughs> and then the third tip I have, and this one can be so many different things, but basically write either a gratitude list, also fucking cliche as fuck. Uh, write a, gr well, 
write a rarer list, write a gratitude list, or as I recently did, and I don't know if the video is gonna go up before this one or not, but I filmed a video about um, 10 things that make life worth living. I wrote down this list one night when I was feeling, I was in a kind of a bad headspace and I'm just tired of being in a bad headspace and I was like, I gotta turn this shit around. And so I wrote a list of 10 things that make life worth living. I'm not gonna go for them in this video because I have another video on that, but it just kind of totally turned my mindset around because The ice cream truck? <laughs> I didn't know that- Oh my god, I didn't know it's still like- is driving around. Like, I didn't know it was still a thing. I don't know if you guys heard that. Anyways. There. Anyways, so make a gratitude list or make a list of things that make life worth living or a list of- Little things that make you happy, like just a list of positive things maybe. And then you can maybe even do some of those things if it's something doable. For example, I'm just gonna use one example of the uh, list that I had of 10 things that make life worth living. One of them was laughing, and so maybe watch something that makes you laugh. Like I watch certain YouTubers that are really funny, and they kind of make me laugh. And so, yeah, just lists like that are really good. It can be any kind of list, like, like I said, gratitude or other things. Something that is kind of like positive. And I think that writing it down is really important too. Like don't just sit and think about it but write it down because it kind of, I feel like it processes better in your mind if you're writing it down. That's one of the reasons why they recommend taking physical notes on a notebook uh, rather than on your computer for studying because you take longer to write it down and so you're actually thinking about it more or something. I don't even know how it works but it works somehow. <laughs> then the fourth, no. Yes, the fourth tip I have is, uh, fuck. Oh, create something. So you might think, oh, but I'm not a creative person, which first of all, I think is kind of bullshit. I think everyone's creative because there's so many things you can do that's creative. Gardening is creative. Even like interior design is creative. Making food is creative. There's so many things. Honestly, humans, I think we all are creative. We all like to create things, you know? And there's, you know, we're, we're we made tools and shit like that. That's cre like it's creating something and we all like to be creative, I think. That's my own theory, I guess. I think it naturally feels good for us to create things. So, that can be painting, it can be food or like baking something. It can also be like for me making YouTube videos. It could be writing a poem, it can be planting a flower, or it could be making choreography. There's so many different things you can do to create something. I think that if you try to create something, the smallest thing, oh, doing your makeup for example, it kind of puts, I guess, some meaning into the day or something, I don't know, like, like the other day I created this, I found a old rock collection, I used to collect a bunch of rocks when I was a kid, and I found them, they were just in a box, and like just laying in a box, or actually two different boxes, and I ended up finding a kind of like a huge mason jar like thing, it's like a Norwegian like jar thing, anyways, and I made it into this like display item, and it looks really cool, and it's like taking order out of chaos, I also did the same with a bunch of broken glass I'd found on the beach, and I don't know, it, that's creating something, like, you get the point, just be fucking creative, okay? And then the last one is one that's really good and relaxing and I want it's really important I think is take time to yourself in the sense of for example or take time to yourself to take care of yourself now if you're a woman or if you're a guy that likes spa nights as well which is totally okay I shouldn't have say it some said what I shouldn't have said if you're a woman if you like spa nights is what I should have said if you like spa nights do spa night or you know sit and watch a TV series do something that you genuinely just enjoy preferably nothing that stresses you out or something that's kind of like work like don't go and clean your whole house when it comes to this step I would say this step has to be something like taking a nice bath sitting and watching a podcast Something that's just really relaxing where you don't have to use much brain power For example for me as much as I like editing videos and stuff that takes brain power Like I have to think and stuff to do it Sometimes it's nice to not have to think you know just you know pause this shit because the shit can get kind of rowdy, if that's the right word. But yeah, I think that's the end of the video. Yeah, that's the end of the video. I just checked my notes. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, if you have watched a few of my videos or just generally think you're gonna enjoy my content, please hit the that. Please hit that subscribe button. That also really helps me out. If anything, that probably helps me out more. Um, 
yeah, follow me on Instagram at Mary Christina if you want. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you guys turn your day around. Don't just watch this video and then not take any of the tips, like actually try to do these things uh, or some of them at least. Honestly, just the music and dance one can totally change your day. Like you don't have to do all of them. These are just simple ways that you can try to change to like turn your day around. Anyways, I'm rambling on. Have a great day. Bye.